Hey, what's up, my beast that subscribers? I'm Jaime, and I'm here with another Manga Pokemon video. So, we're talking about the best class for any real objective game mode like Domination, Hardpoint, not so much Safeguard, but don't worry, guys, I have you. I have a later video later this week talking about best classes for Safeguard and specifically only Safeguard, but this video is going to be talking about some real objective game modes, and yeah. But by the way, guys, Play the motherfucking objective. You know, play the damn objective if you're playing any of these objective game modes. Play the damn game. If you guys didn't see my last video, I go on a 21 capture spree. My three top people go with almost as have much captures than the whole other team combined. Just us three on top, but we still lose by 10, guys. But anyways, guys, I'm not going to hear the comment on that at all. But please, guys, please comment below. What is your favorite gun in this game right now? So here it is. I'm going to start with it. Basically, you got to use your favorite gun in this game. And it could be basically anything for this best class setup. But just use something you're really good with. Uh, probably not the sniper. But if you're a beast of the sniper shit, don't, don't fucking let me tell you. It's, don't run it. <laughs> you know, if you're good to sniper, run it. But for example, I use the KM44 a lot. And I'm starting to really like this gun, even though I love the Man of War. So yeah, so I'm gonna just use the KM for an example. And here it is. This will be my class for any objective game mode. And not only in this game, in this class, you're gonna play the objective and you're gonna get the objective, but you're also gonna win a lot of gunfights because essentially you're gonna have to be a killer and an objective player. You're gonna be a hybrid here, guys. You're gonna be with some motherfucking creature for some motherfucking planet, y'all. Alright? You're gonna like it. Stay tuned. The first perk I'm gonna tell you to run is Flap Jacket. Run motherfucking Flap Jacket. You don't wanna be that person that dies by the grenade if when you're on the hard point or on the flag. You don't want to. One, it's annoying to die from, and I know it gets you mad because the shit gets me mad when I die and I don't run Flap Jacket, which is rare, but I do it because uh, when I prestige, I don't have it to like rank five, and it's so annoying to die from it, man. And I don't know how people don't run with it, but run the flap jacket because people are annoying with those trap mines and grenades and stuff. It's annoying. So run flap jacket. For my second perk on the second, you know, perk system thing, it's going to be fast hands, guys. Again, fast hands. You gotta run this for get some kills. You know, you gotta have the fast aim. You gotta have the first couple of shots in this game because this game's all about seconds and reaction time. It's insane. You gotta have it. You know, the gunfights are so unpredictable in this game because everyone's jumping around like a motherfucking bunny in this motherfucking game. Bunny's out here. Bunny BO3, you know. Bunny BO3 hashtag. So yeah, you gotta have fast hands. The second second perk I'm gonna recommend here is optional. Again, optional, but I find it really, really handy for the objective. If you're more an objective person, it's really, really handy for because it's gonna come back in later in this video on the equipment I tell you to run. So I'm gonna run scavenger as your second secondary perk and this extremely helps you for a couple of things I'll say later in this video like I said but the third perk again is optional so I usually run tactical mass and I usually do but I haven't it's like a bad habit and I haven't and I always get killed by someone who throws concussions but in this game not a lot of people throw concussions in this game so I'm pretty much set so I find myself not using it often but like I said it's optional you, you probably should run in, but it, again, it's optional. Okay, so the lethal and uh, or equipment. I use these fucking trophy systems, man. This little thing is a beast. It's a beast. Surprise, it gets you so much points. I mean, not, a, not a lot of points here, guys. Because each time you get destroyed equipment, it's 25. But 25, if you have two of them and you all get one, so it's 25, 25, 25, 25. That's 100 points. That's basically a kill that gets you. And it's, it's rare that someone actually destroys your shit. You know, it's just rare. But yeah, you gotta run these motherfuckers, dude. And they give you score and they help you on the, you know, if you drop it on the B flag, you know, it's gonna protect people, obviously, so that's easy. But they get you score and it helps you to protect the flag, you know? You don't want someone to throw two grenades at you. 
and it kills you when you have these little motherfuckers protecting you it's so great because you don't have to worry about that bro you don't have to worry about anything you just got to run on that objective and get it and protect it if you're on hard point or you just have to cap the flag on domination you run it and you get out or you stay in there and it helps you get some fucking points and it helps you from the grenade damage and stuff you know and the, the lethal i'm gonna tell you to run it, is the grenade but honestly, you can use the Centex, C4, anything you feel really comfortable with. I feel comfortable with the grenade. And basically, all you gotta do is chuck these motherfuckers into the objective. Preferably when someone's on the objective. If you see yourself, if you see yourself losing B and it's blinking, throw that shit at B. You're gonna get a hit marker at least if you have good aim. Or if someone is in the objective and the hard point, throw it in the hard point, man. Just throw it in there and you never know. You might get a triple kill. You might just get a hit marker. Honestly, just throw it in there. You get someone damaged. And that's it. And if you guys are running scavenger, you can chop grenades, trophy systems. That's what I said next, you know, later in the video. It's going to help you. These things are going to be like infinite. You guys are going to get so much score from the trophies. You're going to be getting grills from the grenades. So that's what I'm saying. This this class is really deadly for not only you, but the other motherfucking team. They're going to be scared. Like, why can't I throw a grenade at B, man? Why can't I do it? These are damn trophy little beast, man. Because they there. So basically, these three things are going to be working for you and your whole team. And will have your enemies scurred. They protect you on the flags or the hard point and like I said these two things are gonna get you kills and protect you so why not run them they're there for the reason you know this is not GB's where everything's banned like a pussy but yeah run and gun you know that's my style so if that's your style you know you can run basically run whatever you want but sometimes I like laying low and basically protecting the flag at all costs so my attachments I would like to run and like to recommend for you guys is quick draw for quick snap aiming you like i said you gotta have the quick shots in this game the the gunfights in this game is so unpredictable so quick draw really helps you with fast hands and it like doubles your aim or whatever then anything anything else honestly quick draw that's just basically necessary um i prefer to really run stock on ars on subs, I run quick draw and grip because uh, grip is no nah, subs are really, are really, really not controllable, especially with grip. But yeah, that's what I usually do. For usually small maps, I run subs, and for big maps, ARs, of course. But I tend more to use ARs in my gameplays and generally in everything because I like quick aiming. I don't like how some subs are especially when they especially when they nerf the vesper i love the razor back though honestly and yeah guys th that is my video on my best class setup and if you'd be running this and you're running the objective and you're playing it you would be you would do fine you know you would do fine maybe your team won't do fine at all but uh yeah preferably playing a party but sometimes i'll be running 90 percent it's with like one other person maybe not 97 like 50 percent and i'm playing with one or two more people i'm like rarely playing in the party of four plus more so i know this stuff works guys trust me take my word don't believe any of the other niggas you know whatever but guys thank you guys so much for the support lately it's been crazy but I am out. And we'll see you guys next time, though. And I have a huge supply drop coming in this week. I hope you guys stay and watch it. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Securing Charlie. UAV inbound.
fire. Losing B. C. Enemy has A. C locked down. Losing B. Friendly UAV inbound. Shoot! Losing Bravo. Profit kill. Securing Alpha. Losing C. Friendly Wraith inbound. We lost C. Vision Force Charge. UAV inbound. 